G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Today we've jumped across ship, of course you guys would have been familiar with all that Age of Empires or rather Age of Mythology content we've been posting lately, but I figured we'd jump back into Age of Empires 4 for a little bit and check in with what is going on in the world because I tell you what, we've got a big event to cover today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our players and then we'll get into it. Spawning in the east of the map in the color yellow plague is the Delhi Sultanate. It's the kid, aka Voldemar. And on the west side of the map, in the color blue, playing as the Malians, we've got Baltoon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dry Arabia. A pleasure, as always, to have your company. If you haven't already, kick your legs up. Go grab yourself something to eat. And of course, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel and the traction of the video. So let's get into it and talk a little bit about what is going on right now. So we are casting King of the North. You may have uh, already watched the Game of Thrones uh, and, uh, and and seen the King of the North. Well, today we crown a new King of the North. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go and watch this live. But I can tell you right now that uh, one of these players will potentially take the crown today and may potentially take the crown in the tournament because it's happening. It's actually a LAN event that is being hosted. Uh, I don't actually know where it's being hosted. I would suspect probably like Denmark, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is it's like Scandinavia, right? Like, it's it's your Swedens, it's your Denmarks, it's your Finlands, all that good stuff. And it's only players from that region. So, naturally, it's getting to the pointy end of the tournament, uh, and it's it's a LAN. So, it's uh, it's been it's been good fun. Un unfortunately, they, they had a bit of bad timing. I don't think they knew. I mean, nobody really knew with the Age of Mythology beta weekend coming. So, you know, you, you take months to prepare your... Uh, your, your land tournament and then like <laughs> the devs are like hey by the way uh one of the most anticipated games of all time the remake of it is is uh, gonna have a beta this weekend and you're just kind of like oh that sucks anyway go check them out go give them some support because of course it's a it's a land game or it's a it's, it's a land tournament uh so support is uh it's it's a little bit more important in uh in land events because obviously uh there's there's more than just like cash money on the line like you, there's a lot of work that goes into production so anyway i'll leave you with that and let's get into it because we've got ourselves a bit of an action-packed game today i'm confident we're gonna see it because the Marlians, they aren't for me the big thing. The big thing is going to be the Delhi Sultanate. You guys know, I'm, I've been casting a lot of Delhi Sultanate lately, and that is because they are an action-packed civilization. It's just one of those civs that if your enemy picks the Delhi Sultanate, you better get ready for an early fight. And so I suspect that Baltoon here is probably going to be gearing up for a couple Javelins, a couple Donzos. We can see he's already got five Vils on the Mansa Quarry early on in this game. Only the four houses, though, around the pit mine. Normally, we see up to six houses. It just kind of makes sense, right? Because it's easier to gather up all 150 wood. But he's not going to do that. You can technically actually get up with only two houses, and it's enough uh, It's enough gold that it'll give you uh, enough to age up. So you can get technically a slightly faster age up with that. But yeah, in my opinion, I think it's just like between four and six definitely makes the most sense. Eight, you're pushing it, but uh, four and six is fine. On the other side of the map, though, we've got four vills working up that Tower of Victory. Uh, here for Voldemar. So I'm going to be looking forward to seeing how he actually plays this one out. And I'm hoping that he looks to try and emulate that success that we've seen from Lucifer. Now, obviously, going for a Tower of Victory means that he's only going to be limiting or rather restricting. Yeah, I guess restricting is probably the better way to play it. He's going to be restricting himself to two scholars. So he's not going to be able to go for that, you know, seven minute on the dot uh, takeover of those three sacred sites. Let's actually have a look at the sacred sites as Fulage is now coming through. Uh, sacred sites are all pretty open here. Of course, this is Dry Arabia. Nice little, uh, we've got a nice little forest right here. And then towards the top side, yeah, all three of these are probably a 10 out of 10 for open, right? Like there's really nothing natural that you can take advantage of with the exception of maybe, you know, like kiting back your archers over on this side potentially could could work. Other than that, wow, you, you got yourself a lot of vills. You got idle vills on the wood right here, Baltoon. That's how keen he is for it. We see right now he was going to throw down the mill and then he's like, actually, no, I can't throw down the mill. I need my wood. I need my wood because I need to throw down a lumber camp. So very intentional there from him. The other side, though, has aged up. We're right on board with Voldemar. As it's going to be a blacksmith thrown down immediately, we can see he does have that second scholar inside now, and Sanctity is on the cards. So at the moment, he's going to be looking just a little bit over that seven-minute mark for that Sanctity research. Only two scholars, which means only two sacred sites initially taken. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what the plan is for him and whether he looks to get out onto the map and maybe secure up some sacred sites early on. Of course, you can go into archers nice and early to get that extra attack speed. Alternatively, you can go into the stable, which is the most common thing that we see. Ghazi Raider numbers uh, out on the map. Now, 
For Baltoon, I think this could be a little bit of a difficult game, just mainly because with the Delhi Sultanate, typically you're going to see them play for a longer feudal age in this sort of situation, just because it is very beneficial for them to be going into archers. And the reason why is simple. They get a big bonus for their archers. 20% attack speed is nice. But on top of that, it's rather difficult to deal with archers as the Marlians. Now, in lower numbers, it's fine because you've got the javelin throwers. The problem is when the number of archers really start pushing to a higher level. I'm talking like 40, 50 archers. That's when you start going, okay, I don't have enough fingers to click fast enough to click on all the enemy archers. You start overkilling a lot of them. It makes it very difficult to actually uh, uh, extinguish the threat of the enemy. We'll say that much, but... Voldemar now with the first of the Ghazi Raiders making its way out across the map. Meanwhile, Baltoon is going to be responding. We see the barracks coming up on his side together with that archery range. He does come around the backside of the enemy base, spots out the blacksmith together with that archery range so he knows exactly what is on the cards but i mean that's the thing about playing against the delhi sultanate you know what is on the cards with this civilization before you even get into the game it's like i know what this is going to be about we've been here before it's going to be about sacred sites it's going to be about making sure that we deny the sacred victory it's a simple one right and you got to be careful because they can come at you from different angles, though. I think that's where the flexibility really comes in. It's always about the sacred sites, but the question is, when is it going to be the threat? Or how are they going to look to play it? Is it going to be that, that feudal age attempt? Or is it going to be something that's a bit more castle age oriented that we have been seeing a little bit longer? But I suspect in this situation where you've got a, a few more... Uh, a few more bonuses going towards that feudal age like obviously uh, no dome of the faith means that you've got the tower of victory earlier so it kind of makes sense to play in a feudal age together with the javelin throw that you're up against it just naturally makes sense to stay in feudal age so we'll have to see how Voldemort does play it looks like he is picking up all of those free eco upgrades uh, we've already seen uh, horticulture come through he's got the double broad axe wheelbarrow now on the way as well for his opponent and uh, we'll ride on board with Voldemort as the mining upgrade has come through as well so everything getting picked up and sacred sites about to be taken sanctity I don't where is the the sanctity there it is look at this timing six seconds to go you know what I'm, I'm gonna give that one a 10 out of 10 he's he's not on the sacred site exactly but the fact that he's already out here chef's kiss i love this and any time that you're not out here immediately taking the sacred site as the set as sanctity rolls over you're making a mistake in my opinion if you're playing the delhi sultan this is a mandatory thing now one of the things voldemar's got to be careful is if Battletoon looks to potentially deny these from being captured. Normally with a scout is the way that you'll do it. So we can see this scout moving out here right now. No units on the sacred site to protect it means that it's going to delay capturing the sacred site. And now subsequently delaying taking the third sacred site, which delays the sacred victory. And that's exactly what Battletoon needs to do here. Normally what Battletoon is going to be thinking about when you're playing into this matchup massing up a fair bit of units and looking to try and get up in, into the castle age uh so far uh, particularly good uh especially because it's going to be a larger archer mass that you're going to be dealing with here so if you can get into sofa it's nice uh obviously we want that imported armor that the sofas have access to to just really maximize our efficiency um so as long as he can get up to the castle age and not die before he gets there and then manage to get those upgrades i think he should be okay but it's going to be tough we'll say that much for him anyways Let's check in with Voldemar and see how those upgrades are doing as he's already picked up balanced projectiles. We see it on the way in. Now going to be moving into Iron Undermesh. Still just the one blacksmith for the moment. Plenty of vills on wood though, as we can see. Third sacred site now going to be taken. He's walling up that first one as well. Have a look at the amount of archers we've got up towards this north side. Reinforcements are going to be rallying in towards the middle, so he doesn't really need to fortify this as much as this sacred site towards the north. And it's definitely a lot closer to Baltoon. We can sense that. We can see that. Numbers now starting to build up. Donzo's together with the Javelins. They're going to start teeing off towards that single Ghazi Raider. He takes a fair bit of damage. Keep in mind that we do have the ability to heal up these units through the Scholar. And uh, keep in mind that Voldemar's probably going to have plenty of Scholars out on the field today. Mainly just because all that gold should be funneled into the Scholars in this situation. You've got to be careful, mate. Make sure you finish off those walls. Don't want to leave a little opening like this. That is for sure. But we do now start to see a few more Scholars joining the field. Third Scholar is now out as well. So healing, neutralizing the sacred site in the middle. Donzo together with the javelin going to start moving up for it. We enter into cinematic mode. A little bit preemptive here, but you know I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. He's, he's hot on. Uh, excuse me. Um, he's he's Voldemar. Hey, Vo Voldemar. 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 You were the chosen one, Voldemar. You can't be doing me like this, Voldemar. You were meant to hold that. What, what, what happened? Did he... I think he, he... Maybe he sent... You know, I always do this, right? Like, I'll grab all of my, my cavalry and I'll be like, okay, you guys are control two. 
And then I'll send one cavalry unit to decap this sacred site. He's a part of control group two. And then I'll be like, all right, control group two, let's go for a raid. And then the guy that was going to the sacred site's like, all right, I'm coming, boss. It's like, ah, oh, man, every single time I do it, so many times, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's one of those things that, uh, it, it takes a bit of time. Let's check in with Baltoon, though, because he is working down this south sacred site. I don't think it's going to happen. You can see he's got a hardened Donzo on standby. Just that single Ghazi Raider comes in. Look at Baltoon, just very aware right now of what his opponent may be thinking and throwing out. At the same time, look at this, very intentional. Attacks the second sacred site back again in the middle here, but will guarantee that he gets this bottom one because he managed... Yes, he managed to keep a single Donzo down there. Just really big brain stuff. And remember, the longer that he does this, the more he delays that sacred victory. We're at 9 minutes 50. It's about to be... Hold on. Was... Why is it... It's still counting down. Never mind. It's gone. A couple Donzos on the front. Able to pierce through the armor of those Ghazi Raiders. Javelin Thrower is going to be forced back away. You can see him just going to be attack moving. Fo actually, not even attack moving. Just focusing down those single archers. Now, I'm just going to be pushing forward and saying, you know what? You know what, Baltoon? I've had it with you. I've had it with your sacred site decapping. I'm just going to go for it. Scout gets taken out. Ghazi Raider as well. Archers on the back doing a good job of teeing off towards those Donzos. But the Donzo numbers are pretty healthy at the moment. The one thing I'm a little bit fearful of is that uh, even though those Donzo numbers are healthy, the Arch is able to take them down very, very quickly. Beautiful micro coming through from Voldemar, but Javelin's also working to take down those Ghazi Raiders, and the number's now starting to fall. He's not going to be able to dive underneath the town center. In fact, what he needs to do is recap this Sacred Site. The longer this game goes, without these Sacred Sites being held, the worse it gets for Voldemar. Honestly... I'm almost tempted to say this is a bit of an oversight here from Voldemar. Now, Voldemar's a really good player. Not just like your, your average Conqueror 3 player. He is very good. So he is like... How would you even say it? He's Conqueror 3 plus, 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 plus. Like 2.1k? 2 point... I think 2, 2k, 2.1k, somewhere around that region. So incredibly high rating. Uh, Voldemar? Okay. Bill's worked it out. Um... Which, which means that I don't really expect him to be making mistakes like this one down here. Well, to be fair, this one wasn't a mistake. This, this wasn't a mistake. This was a mistake in the middle, but then it subsequently led to this as a mistake. Um, and I mean, like down, down here, you can't blame a man for losing a sacred site because there was a, a hidden Donzo. He just knew that a single, like th th that is some real big brain Age of Empires 4 plays right there. The fact that he knew a single Ghazi Raider would be peeled off to neutralize the scout. So what he did was kept a single Donzo in the sacred or in, in the stealth forest, but at the same time knew that, that that Ghazi Raider would be coming and that if he wanted to neutralize the sacred site completely, he had to also distract the central site. Like it's just really big, like, big brain stuff. Sorry, I'm getting excited here about the size of Baltoon's brain right now. It has been, you know, and I, I just, I, the really, the reason why I want to hammer this home is just because when it comes to playing against the Delhi Sultan, every second counts. And Baltoon has bought himself so much time. Right now, we're at 13 minutes into the game. The Sacred Timer should be reading at about four to three minutes left. That's where it should be. The reality is, it's not even ticking yet. Voldemar is working to capture all three Sacred Sites. It's now being held. And that gives him 10 minutes at the 13 minute mark. Still, by the way, no walls down here. And look at this, another little attack coming in. So I can't help but fault Vol Voldemar in this position. 43 archers now coming out. We talked about this earlier. The fact that you do have a large amount of archers makes it really difficult on the defensive here for Baltoon because he's got 24 javelins. That's great. But when we do the math here, you've got four armor, okay? Four armor, 70 HP, which means that that's going to be two damage per shot from the archers because they've been upgraded. They've got six, so six minus four is two. I hope you're following. Six, where are we? Six minus four is two. They've got 70 health. That means I need 35 archers to one shot a, a, uh, a javelin thrower. And of course, I've got 43 out, which is more than enough to one shot them. So now, you, oh my God, jeez Louise, Voldemar. Somebody stop this guy. Voldemar, we're going to have to have words after this, mate. This is a cash money tournament. You can't be doing this. And you can see him trying to work down those javelin throwers. A lot of damage coming out. We enter into the cinematic to c cinematic mode. Hold on, no, that's the wrong button. Wrong go. There you go. Have, oh my God, my UI is still on the screen. I buggered it all up. We'll have to just focus on the fights for, for now, fellas. Slowly, the numbers are looking better and better for Baltoon. You can see he's evening it out, manages to bring back all the javelin throwers, keeps them safe in the pocket. Vil's also coming down. A couple Ghazi Raiders and Archers making their way up towards that top side. Uh, I'm trying to find my button. There we go. There we go. I, I managed to get it. We, we got it in the end, the UI. But the Archer number has really fall, fallen here quite significantly. But I think the real victory 
and you might not see it as a victory. In my mind, this is a victory. The fact that he neutralized the sacred site because now we're off the timer again, and now we can just we can just focus on what we want to do. All we want to do, we just want to make vills. We want to we want to make cows, and we want to just go castle age. And now he now he's got a window to go castle age. This is absolutely it for him right here, right now. Uh, Baltoon, I mean, he's, look at the amount of gold he's sitting on. He's sitting on nine hundred gold right there. So he's got a, he's got a lot of bands under the table. That is for sure. Meanwhile. Voldemar's heading back down here. He's like, ah, you, you, just, you just know it, man. You just know it. Now, where is he spending all of his gold? It, it's got to be going somewhere, right? Because he's on 250 gold a minute. He's held two sacred sites for like the last seven, eight minutes. So I can tell you right now, there, there is gold that is, is... Has he dropped a market? I bet he's dropped a market, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Look at this. He's freaking... Mm. Should have been... I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm a big fan of Scholars. I, I, I like, like, the Scholar plus Ghazi Raider combo. Ghazi Raiders tank up on the front, a lot of health on them, and then the Scholars healing them. So the idea is simple. You keep your Scholars in the back with your Archers, and obviously they've got uh, Pity as well, which gives them, like, a whole bunch more health. So they're very tanky when you compare that to the Archer. So if your enemy misclicks on them, uh, it feels very good. Um, but the big thing is that you pull those Ghazi Raiders back, and then they just get healed up by the Scholars sitting on the back. So to me, I would have preferred that... I know Voldemort's probably spent a lot of those resources on just making units here. We can see he's got a lot of production out, but I just would have preferred like a nice little mass of scholars, man. That, that's what that's what would have gotten me up in the morning, that's for sure. But uh, there it is. I jump now coming through Grand Fulani Corral. No real surprise here. We haven't seen players deviate from this Castle Age landmark for some time. It has been a big focus of Malian players. They have been... I mean, when was the last time we saw the... Give me a second here. When was the last time we saw the Farimba Garrison? I'm, I'm going to say it was probably 2003, two, 2002, mate. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm joshing with you. I think it was probably, you know, remember the days where Salami was doing like that real fast castle and he would also, he would do it with the trade landmark. I think that was probably it. I mean, that was probably the big meta of, of it happening. But, and it actually got nerfed. Like it was too good back then and it got nerfed and everyone's just like, hold on. He's, only, he's building it with only two vills. Is this because he, he doesn't want his opponent to attack him? Is that the thinking? Like he's trying to delay the attack as much as he possibly can. Sacred Victory is once again approaching, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Archer's teeing off. Managed to find a villager. If you didn't get the first Sacred Sight message, well, here's the second one for you. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of it off the screen until it naturally fades out. But only one vill on this landmark. What What is going on? Is it just me, or does Baltoon have a brain the size of a watermelon in the head the size of a peanut? How I I, I don't even know what Baltoon looks like. I, I, I always it's just one of my things. Anyway, um, what's going on here? That he's like he's just going one vill on the Castle Age landmark. What's the thinking behind it? Is is there is there something more to it? What does he do? Okay, so immediately upon age up, he's clicking veteran sofa. Javelin thrower, Donzos, obviously all three of those going to come through here. Is there anything else though? And you can see that these are quick upgrades, right? Like Sofos in 30 seconds, all three of them in 30 seconds. He wants to avoid fighting until the upgrade comes through. Siege engineering is on the way here as well for Voldemar. It's going to be a little bit slow, but look at the number of archers that are inside the base. Baltoon trying to outplay his opponent and has managed to do that. Did evacuate the army before it could make its rounds and now... As the upgrades come through, you could see the veterancy. There they are, both units getting veterancy. Wonderful timing. And now you've got a little bit of a difficult spot here for Voldemar. He's fighting into veterancy on the units. They've got both of them are kiting away. We can see the Javelins and the Donzos alternating their spears as they retreat, taking out each of the Garci Raiders. Where are all the villagers though? All 15 inside the town center. I don't know where the rest of them are. Javelin's going to be able to find much better trades here because they're taking a lot less damage now. Remember before they were taking two damage? Well, now they're only taking one damage. So that's giving them a much better trade. But now Donzos going to look to do their best in defending this position. Sofa Warriors now coming out. Keep in mind, they've got their veterancy already in. I don't think he's got the imported armor for them just yet, but he's dropped triple stable. And this production is going to help him in this position because there's no spears out for his enemy. And Baltoon trying his best to hold. He ran the units all the way around his base, gave him a little bit of a loop-de-loop, -loop, a dosey do -si -do, And now continues to escape with the javelin throwers. But remember, remember, he's got that extra armor now because he's got veterancy, which means the break points on these archers has changed significantly. Before it needed to be 35 archers to take out a, a javelin thrower. Now it's up to 70. In fact, it's higher than 70 because he gets health on that veterancy after the age up. We'll take a look and see. You can see 80 shots right there. It's going to take five armor against your six attack. He's having a field day and he could defend this all damn day. He's feeling absolutely fine. The only issue is going to be this cavalry 
Valkyrie, but as long as he's still got the cows kicking, which he definitely does, he's going to have units coming through. And there they are, the veteran so far on the backside. Meanwhile, towards the south, have a look at this. Quadruple stable getting placed down. Seven minutes on that sacred site timer, by the way. And still underneath the town center, he continues to fight. Now, there's been 17 worker kills this game by Voldemar, and yet that does not stop a Marley in main. It does not stop a Marley in main at all. He is all... He is full steam ahead at this point. And now the Sofa Warriors are out. This is where you got to scramble because you're thinking to yourself, Scheiße. Sh should I... Well, there, there's no Germans here. They're probably thinking something like... You know... I, I, don't, I don't even know how to mon make fun of, like, the Scandinavians. Oh, how, how do I make fun of Sustroming? There you go. Sustroming? That's what it's called. Right? But anyway, uh, Voldemar is going to need to switch into Spears. The only issue is, he doesn't have the Spearman upgrade. Now, did they change the Spearman upgrade so it's really, really quick? No, it's not really quick. It's 53 seconds. So it's going to take some time. So not only do you have to put down a barracks to, to build Spears, but you also need to put a ba barracks down to get the research for the hardened Spearman. Um, so this is something that's, uh, you know, you're going to have to, yeah, you got to do this. You're going to have to make three, four bags uh, to actually deal with this. So now you can see we do have that hardened upgrade coming in. Research speed is at its slowest. Garrison scholars in mosques and madrasas to increase research speed. I have never seen this before. I have genuinely never seen this message before. And you know, the worst part is like the patch has existed. Like this patch has existed for like three months. And I I've never seen that message before. Is, is it just a message saying I don't have Wi-Fi? But he does have Wi-Fi. The, oh, he doesn't... There's no scholars in the Wi-Fi, in, in the router. That's why he's, uh... That's why he's getting that message. But now look at this. We got Sofa Warriors on the counter attack. Overrunning the enemy position. Spears are here. Now keep in mind that Voldemar is still outnumbering Baltoon by a mile. And I've been in this position before. I will say it now. I've been in this position before. It's a sad state of affairs. But the, the main issue that you've got is you've got no real way to counter the Sofa Warrior. They are very quick highly armored units that do a lot of damage you can see right here he's he definitely has the uh the the imported armor these stats are pretty damn high but uh very quick units now of course spears do it but you've got so much pla so many places to cover you need to go into spears but you also need to go into castle age and now you've got two different strains on your food i need to make spears but i need to go castle age so which one is it going to be and obviously if you're stuck making spears you're just going to get run around in circles i feel like i'm watching gua play right now but have a look at this manages to catch the sofa warriors with a couple spears in the vill trap not going to be successful here Four minutes on that sacred site timer. Just remember, that could be a win condition for Baltoon today. Rather, for not for Baltoon, for uh, for Voldemar. But a uh, little bit of an intercept coming through. Hold your horses, Ghazi Raiders. Managed to find a connection. Archers, of course, teeing off as well. It's a slow bit of damage that gets done to them. Remember that six armor against the six damage is not going to be particularly helpful. And Voldemar just committing 100% here. I think this is definitely the play. Just going into mass spear at this point in the game because definitely the Sofa Warrior is by far the most powerful thing in this situation. But look at ba Baltoon. Just the read on him is perfect right now. Instead, going into archers. So not going into javelins, not going into donzos, going into archers. And he could look to combo this with something like your poison arrow ability. Archers, of course, notoriously good for the Marlians in the Castle Age beginning to push forward. Javelins together with the Archers teeing off on that back line. Ghazi Raiders, no, no real numbers here for him. He's going to look to try and contest these Sacred Sites shortly. You can see that his opponent, Voldemar, has been all the way up on his own hunt. There are Vils inside here, so I suspect we may have a little bit of a breakfast. The Sofa Warriors are eating well today. Now that, that village account has swung in favor of Baltoon after that those early losses he lost 17 workers early on and now that central sacred site will become the next victim in baltoon's defense i tell you what that was a beautiful defense from baltoon he ran him around in circles managed to keep it together but now towards the center we've got veterancy on these units a lot of units are, are veteran in fact all of the units here are veteran and the spears are just getting eaten alive. You can see the archers trying their best to pick off the enemy archers, but just that that extra little bit of health has given them so much value here. And now the Sofa Warriors once again towards the front. And this is where it just gets so hard because you're not doing any damage to those Sofa Warriors with your archers. They've got too much armor and you're just, you're barely scratching them when, when you're firing off those arrows. Sacred Sight, two minutes and 44 seconds to go. I don't think there's any chance the Voldemar holds it. It's, it's been an incredible game from here. Fellas, I gotta say, man, Voldemar 
He's done a good job, but at the end of the day, the kid, he's going to type in the Gs and give it over to Baltoon. Go and check him out. They are live right now. I want you to go say good day. That's as long as this video has been uploaded, uh, like for the next five hours or so. Go check him out. Link is in the description and the pinned comment. Go say good day, and I'll catch you in the next one.